Hello lovely blood suckers, and we're starting this episode of Why Did You Mom Why with the first few seconds into it and they go Hey look! And some say, oh that's a mon- is that a monster? And then there's one, if you don't really catch it, says What'd he say? Oh yeah, he said, size really does matter Now, they snuck that in and I know they snuck that in but, what they're all actually gushing over isn't a Digimon, it's a Dark Spire. And, the way they did it, it's kinda, uh, like, okay, it could be an actual Digimon, uh, it could not be a Digimon, you don't know. And I just don't like the angle they shot it and the way they did it, it it's kinda, uh. And now the next issue is after Ken and Matt take down the Dark Spire, they go to the temple where they have to fight Digimon, of course, to get them into the digital world. And when Ken goes, Ken and Matt go to um, the guards trying to get in, in and it doesn't work. The guard calls Ken a punk. He gets mad. Yada yada, all that. Sorry, my hand was cramping. Um, when it goes back, now this is the reason why I put this in because a lot of people misunderstand what warm run means when he says there's a time that would be a compliment. What he actually meant was there was a time that Ken, when he was the Dark Emperor, would see that as a compliment, but the way it was worded, which I'm pretty sure is a translation issue, made it seem like he was saying Ken would actually really appreciate that. And because, of course, the way they animated his eyes and stuff too, so people would most likely misinterpret that. <sighs> now, moving on to this issue. And that's... Oh, Jesus. Rosa. Now, I'm going to give Bandai America and Toei Amer and uh, translators for Toei credit on this. And here's why. They play off as childish kindergarten crushes but in truth if this was the Japanese dub it would be a lot more sexual I don't know why Digimon does this like come on and before anyone goes oh no it's not that yes yes it is this has been proven time after time it is that and it goes even further in when and they are going towards those Digimon they have to fight. And Rosa asks Ken if he has a girlfriend. Now, again, kudos to the American team. Because they, again, play this off as a simple childish crush. With Mexican Jedi Jose. And... I hate saying Mexican Jedi. That's how they said it in the anime. That's the only reason why I said it. I'm, I'm just going to say Spanish Jedi. Spanish Jedi. Jose and uh, Matt and Gabumon tease a on about it. But in the end, she ends up liking Seenmon and Ken. So, I, <laughs> I don't know. It's still... If I just think about it if it was the Japanese dub, I already know how it would turn out and it ticks me off all the time. Now this um, it, uh, part in the in this episode it's very awkward. Kari, not Kari, Yoli doing awkward hugs to the Russian 
if the way they try to introduce themselves, and even Yo Lee ends up saying it's awkward, it's just like, I know this was simply to fill out the episode, which I don't think they really needed to do, like, because the whole issue was, is Ken and Matt's part kind of got through fast, yes, but they didn't need to do that whole introduction awkwardly or anything like that to fill out the episode, because they already had a bunch of fly mods. Which, that, like, took half of it to beat. And then, when the Rush I forgot his name. That, that's only why I'm saying Russian Jedi. When the Russian Jedi shows up, that's another half of the episode taken up. Because they have to fight a bunch of mammoth mons and all that. So, this part of the episode was not needed. They could have done an easy introduction and all that, and then move on. But no, they dragged it out, and I, I honestly don't think it was needed. Anyways, um, I hope y'all have a wonderful day or night, and I hope y'all had a wonderful Father's Day. Love you all.